Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. As always, thanks for stopping by. We're going to move forward with the How to Make Money blogging series. We're on episode 9, and today we're going to install a plugin, and uh, it's not going to be anything that complicated. So, let's start by going back to our blog that we created. Remember, it's stored at http colon slash slash localhost slash myspace for space blog. And if you don't remember, uh, I mean, if, if you can't get to it, remember to open up your XAMPP control panel and uh, start both of your servers because otherwise you're going to get a page error. So now that we have the blog open, let's go to my website at www.pcmichiana.com. Yes, I do have a new layout for the site. Now go to the free download section and I have the WordPress plugins we've worked with so far under the WordPress plugin section. Remember all of the free downloads I've collected over the years are at this website. Awesome free tools, make sure you check them out. Select the Google XML sitemap. After you've opened up the sitemap, just click on the picture or the thumbnail and uh, let it open that up and click to download. Now this brings you to the WordPress website. I do this on, on purpose so that actually you can download the version that's the latest. And I don't like to host uh, files because I always forget to update them. So go ahead and save it to your desktop. That way we know right where it's at. Go back to your first blog and let's go to the metadata. Click site admin. Once that opens up, of course, you're going to have to log in if you haven't logged in already. Let's do the drop down here on the plugins on the left hand side and click add new. And then, of course, click upload. And then we want to click choose file. And let's scroll down to the Google sitemap generator and click it and click install now. Now, once it's unpacked and installed, just click activate plugin. See how hard this is? <laughs> and then it's activated. Now, don't click the edit here. That doesn't actually bring you to the settings. Click on the drop down here on the left hand side that has settings and click XML sitemap. Yours will look a little bit different up front because I rebuilt this in a previous video I've done, but you want to click build the sitemap in a second. Don't do it just yet. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and make sure that the include category section is checked off. And then let's go ahead and scroll up here back and make sure you click build your sitemap for the first time. In my case, I'm gonna rebuild it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select rebuild. And then once it's rebuilt or once it's built, it'll notify you that it's built. And now let me show you where this is actually stored. That's actually stored on your my first blog folder slash sitemap.xml. And if you press enter, as you can see, all the URLs and all the pages on your uh, website, which were only like four at this point, were submitted to, uh, were written into a sitemap page. So that's also automatically generated in your root folder, which as you know is the C drive, XAMPP, and all that fun stuff. But that's all there is to this video. We're, we're pretty much set for the search engine things now. Uh, having a good sitemap, a solid sitemap, that uh, it automatically rebuilds itself, so you don't have to go in here and rebuild it every time. Having a good sitemap generator and a good uh, all-in-one search engine optimization pack combined will give you a, a really good start on actually building up your website. In the next video, we're going to be talking about Google monetization and what is monetization. Uh, not just Google, but uh, Google and Yahoo, they all use different settings. And uh, don't forget to stop by the website and the forum, and uh, you can get there at the homepage, obviously, pcmichiana.com, like I said before. Select Community Forum, and you can post any questions there. That's the only place I'm going to be answering questions from this point on. Uh, so that everyone can learn from it. So thanks for stopping by.